Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your host, Ronan Tame HD. So yeah, this is going to be a great time. Hey guys, welcome back to our episode of Ticket Tuesday. I'm Ronan Tame HD, and this time we watched this week was Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 by James Gunn, starring a bunch of different people that I don't want to name here. But uh, yeah, this film was just really good and honestly it's probably my favorite Marvel movie in a long time. I know I say that a lot but looking back I realize they're not that good but this one was made by James Gunn and he's never made a bad superhero movie especially and it proves of why. This is really just really well made. The acting was great. The story was great. I was really engaged all the way through. The villain was great. It was all great but before I start rambling I will tell you why I thought this film was great and more back at the house. We were always searching for a family until we found each other. Are you ready for one last ride? <laughs> we'll all fly away together into the forever and beautiful sky. Hey guys, and welcome back to episode of Ticket Tuesday. I'm your son, Timmy T, and this week we watched Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, James Gunn, James Gunn, James Gunn's, James Gunn's possibly, possible, possible last film. God, that's one hell of a tongue twister. But, possible last film, not ever, but for Marvel, okay? James Gunn's possible last film for Marvel, um, at the time, like right now, he's gonna be busy with DC, um, but I'm glad he, um, made Volume 3, and to be honest, I'm not surprised with how amazing this movie was, because, I mean, it's fucking James Gunn, what do you expect? He hasn't made a single bad Marvel movie, and this movie just had James Gunn written all over it. And even, like, James Gunn got away with a lot in this movie. Um, there was even a couple F-bombs thrown in there, for good measure. Only three times, though. Gotta keep that PG rating. But there was even some blood in there. And I don't mean, like, the alien Marvel goo blood, you know, that you see in every PG-13 movie nowadays. Uh, but there was actual red, like, red person blood in the movie, you know? Rocket bled, Drax bled, um, I'm not gonna tell you why, but I'm not gonna tell you who or the context, but somebody had their face ripped off. I'm not telling you the, anything about it, but it was fucking gnarly, and it, I was surprised that Disney let James Gunn do that. <laughs> it's, it's probably because, like, you know... Gotta, I mean, honestly, if this film was rated R, dude, James Gunn would have went fucking wild. Because he always does. Because, I don't know. Anyway, getting off track, getting off track. Um, but anyway, yeah, really, really, really enjoyed this movie. And I just, I don't know. I think, I say this a lot in my reviews, but t looking back at other past Marvel movies, I have a feeling of this one... It's definitely my favorite since... I, I think I've enjoyed this one the, the most since maybe No Way Home. And I think I might have even enjoyed this one more than No Way Home because, yeah, well, No Way Home was, I think, a good a good movie, like a good Spider-Man movie, a good event, more of... It wasn't really a movie. It was more like a cinematic event, kind of like a Endgame and Infinity War. But um, this one, I think, was better as a movie. You know what I mean? It felt more like a movie... Um, and that's, like, I'm really insinuating that because while Endgame and Infinity War and No Way Home, to an extent, were just events in my eyes. Uh, words from another, uh, person on this platform that I like to borrow from because I agree with it. But, um, yeah. This one was, I think, the best Marvel movie in a long time. And, honestly, I think, like, it's just James Gunn being James Gunn. Because the shots were great, the the dialogue was really funny, I was laughing all the way through, 
and the characters were amazing, and it really subverted my expectations. Not that I didn't think it was going to be good, like, you know, story-wise. Um, and, I mean, everybody was great. I think everybody really acted their heart out in this movie, and it just really felt like a conclusion to the story of the Guardians of the Galaxy. And even though I'm not going to... Actually, I'm not going to say it. It's going to spoil too much. But it really feels like a conclusion to the main group. And I really think it really tied the bone really nicely. Um, and to me, I think the film was near perfect at being that satisfying conclusion. Um, and another thing I really liked about this movie is everybody, as I was watching it, I was like, wow, everyone in this movie, like, every good guy in this movie got a chance to shine. You know? Like, every character got a chance to, like be important, got a chance to do something in the story, you know? But everybody had a chance to shine, and I really like that, because I think sometimes with movies with this many characters, that, you know, it, they kind of get caught up in the mix, you know? Some characters don't do as much as others, some characters don't have a reason to be there, but I feel like all the, like, characters that are connected to the Guardians in some way, or are a Guardian themselves really do something and they impact the story and that is important because you it gives a reason for why these characters are here you know it's it's another thing when you have a character there but they have to do something you know have them be there for a reason and all the characters are there for a reason and it's amazing like i was watching this film and i'm like wow this movie has structure <laughs> and it's like damn I just really, really liked it. And another thing that I liked, which has been a problem with most modern Marvel films, that is not a problem with this one, the special effects looked good. It looked like a Marvel movie should look. You know, it had the high, super-duper, quadruple budget. You know, it had a fuck ton of CGI in there. Practical, though. Not everything was CGI. Some people had, like, practical suits on, and there was, like, practical stuff, which is good. You know, you gotta mi you can mix in the CGI, but you gotta have some practical in there too. You gotta have the you gotta even it out. If you're gonna have CGI, add some practical in there at least. You know, because uh, practical always looks better in my personal opinion, uh, most of the time. But yeah, uh, just man, and also the characters, as I said, amazing, all of them. I think there wasn't a single character I didn't like, and of course, I think this is the best Marvel villain in a long time. And by best Marvel villain, I think the thing I like about this Marvel villain is because he's legitimately, like, really, really bad. Like, he's a really bad guy. And sometimes I think a problem with some Marvel movies is that the villain, you like the villain too much to the point where you don't want to see them defeat the villain. You don't want to see the villain get murdered. In this film, I was like, I want to see this guy get murdered. You know? I want to see them kill this guy, not the, not the, not the guy behind the guy, but the guy playing, but not the guy playing the guy, but the guy who he's playing, you know, completely different people. But yeah, I just really th wanted to see the villain get taken down. Is what I'm saying, and that just doesn't happen to me with, a lot with Marvel movies. Um, and I'm glad that in this movie there's a villain that's hateable. Isn't that kind of the meaning? I mean, I'm not ragging on like good villain like good villains, but isn't that kind of the meaning of a villain to treat like show them as villainous and evil and you want to see them get taken down isn't like they're like the antagonist of the story? I don't know. But uh yeah. I just absolutely enjoyed everything about it. Almost, pretty much everything about it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a perfect movie. No movie is. But I think this is definitely one of my favorite... Uh, definitely one of my favorites of the last, like, couple... Like, not couple. Like, the last two phases. This is definitely one of my favorites. Um, and I think it's a really a diamond in the rough, really. Um, and... Yeah, just really good all around the board. And I think... I don't know if I'm just having some recency bias here. I don't know. Maybe I could... Maybe... If I feel different later on, maybe I could change it. But right now, I think I'm pretty certain I'm going to give this movie... I don't know if this is too much. I don't care. This is my opinion. An 8. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's a great film. I think it's a great way for the Guardian story to conclude. And 
I'd highly recommend it for any Marvel fans. And even if you're kind of iffy about Marvel right now, you haven't really liked what they've been doing lately, I'd still recommend you watch this one. Because this one is definitely a must. And, uh, yeah. I think I've, I think I've said all I need to say. I think I've said my piece. So, guys, hope you like this video. Hope you share your friends and shit. You subscribe to the notifications on. Comment down below how much you liked it. But, you guys know how it goes. I didn't mean to say that. What I really meant to say was if you guys hated this video, unsubscribe, dislike, tell me what hate me in the comments. Signing off. Okay. We're in time HD. Setting off. I don't know, dance. Psh.